Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Nadir. Nadir Muhammad Khan. I live in Canada, in Toronto. And um, I've been living in Toronto for 30 years now. And I was, um, I spent a, uh, my, I did my middle school and high school in uh, Riyadh, in Saudi Arabia. I um, was born and raised in India, actually, in Hyderabad. But my uh, roots go back to the Arab world. Uh, specifically to uh, Hadramaut. My uh, ancestors traveled from Hadramaut to India and I was uh, seven generations later I was born in India. Alhamdulillah. I live in Toronto. I did my uh, studies in Toronto. I did a, my Bachelor of Commerce uh, degree in, at the University of Toronto. MashaAllah it's considered among the best uh, in the world and I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, spend time there. And along with um, studies, uh, Allah blessed me with, uh, with good sohbah. And I discovered deen uh, in Toronto, uh, alhamdulillah. I've, I've been living in Toronto since uh, 1993. And um, I lived there, I, went to, I completed my studies there, and I worked in the corporate world for a little while until Allah threw me out of the corporate world. I was um, in the middle, of, there were four years in the middle where I was in Dubai and Sharjah and uh, Al Ain and uh, Oman from 2004 to 2008. And then I went back to Canada. Uh, I, was, uh, I was working um, in the uh, IT slash finance industry. And, uh, you know, uh, this was when, uh, you know, in, in those uh, really crazy times in Dubai where, uh, where uh, things were moving very, very fast, you know. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, it, was, it was a good time. And then uh, we left from there, I left from there in 2008, uh, back to Canada. Uh, the Muslims that you see in Canada is, is, are very, very, um, it's a very wide um, spread of, you know, of, of cultures. Everybody is there. And we find a big population from uh, South Asia, from India and Pakistan and Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, but they're from all over, right? I mean, in India, there's 1,400 languages. In Pakistan, there's like 26, 27 languages. Each language connects to a culture. So there's so many cultures in South Asia alone. All of them are there. But then you move beyond that. You look at the Arab world. We have everybody to, from Moroccans to Iraqis to everybody in the middle. They're all there. And then beyond that, European Muslims like Bosnians and Turks and Macedonians. You find uh, one of the things that you really appreciate about living in Toronto is that it's home to the entire world. And so it's home to Muslims from all cultures, all Islamic cultures and many, many converts. Um, converts of people who are white or uh, black or Chinese or what have you, everybody, mashallah. So I think for me, this was really good for me as an artist uh, because um, I was sort of connecting with when I, you know, I was a musician growing up, you know, and um, you know the kind of songs that I was singing were of a different kind. And then when I, you know, the suhba that I connected with directed me towards Deen, the songs changed, and what I love changed. Alhamdulillah. Um, but I think what really impacted me culturally. Uh, was that I connected with all of these people from so many different parts of the world who were singing songs, you know, anashid, but they were singing songs that were very, very different from each other, from completely different cultures. For me, that was amazing because like, wow, there's Moroccans who sing like this, Malaysians who sing like that, Yemenis sing like this, Iranis sing like this, right, Egyptian. Like for me, I was taking everything in, I was soaking everything up. And for me, that really developed, uh, that really helped me develop as an artist in Toronto. I think it's very, um, and that's an experience you can't find anywhere else in the world. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, as an artist, it's important for you to be honest with your own cultural reality. You can't pretend to be from a different culture. Otherwise, you will look fake and nobody will connect with it. And this is especially important for devotional art for art that is about Allah and His Messenger وسلم, is that you can't be fake because then people are disconnecting from Allah and His Messenger 
So you have to be culturally honest with who you are. So culturally, I have connected with so many cultures that I've lived among, but also so many cultural streams that I drank from. You know, all of these different, you know, people who sang Qasais from all of these different parts of the world. MashaAllah, I can sing the Burda in, in like from Moroccan to Maghrib, from Moroccan to Malaysian to everywhere in the middle because they're all beautiful different tunes. Um, because the, I've connected with all of these people. And so that has become my cultural reality. But also, I've been living in Toronto for 30 years, except for the four years in the middle. And I also have connections with Western music. That's who I culturally am. I am culturally all of those things. So my work has to express that. And I think, it, and when I'm honestly expressing it, I find myself connecting with people who are honestly looking for something like this. Because they are also, they're Muslim, but culturally they're also Western. And culturally they're also Pakistani and Indian. And, uh, and uh, you know, Hijazi and, you know, Syrian, what have you and they're looking to connect both worlds. And so, alhamdulillah, they find something in my work that helps them connect that. Because I guess in some way, I'm connecting both worlds. There, there's two songs that I think um, uh, people really connect with. There's one song that I released uh, in 2008, so almost 15 years ago. Um, that, I, that I still find pe that it, it sells and streams more than everything else put together. It's called The Sound of Tears. And uh, that song has had acceptance across the world, right? I find people sending me messages about it from everywhere. Some ulama have played it in Mina on Hajj and they send me a message saying, I'm here. Because the song has a special, uh, um, it has a special hal that even like I, I when I look at the words, I don't know where they came from, right? It took me five years to write those words. And when I read the words, I'm in tears. And it's called The Sound of Tears. Um, if you Google it, you'll find it. You know, you can, you can find it on my YouTube page as well, Nadir Khan Official on YouTube. Um, the Sound of Tears begins with a bait from Sheikh uh, Muhammad ibn al-Habib uh, from Morocco uh, in his Qasida of Istighfar. أستغفر الله إن الله ذو كرام ورحمة للذي قد تاب من زلالي. And then the whole song um, is culturally um, both. You know, most of it is based on the first bait of Mawlana Jalaluddin Rumi from the Masnavi. And then, you know, you have references to Quran, references to. Uh, you know, Hasbil uh, Kabir of Maulana Abul Hassan Shadili, but then you also have references to Western music. It's all together. And I think people really connect with it because it's a song about istighfar. And people really, you know, especially in the last 10 nights of Ramadan and in the, you know, the, the day of Arafah, people really play it. You know, I can see online that people are playing it more. Uh, and there's another song that I wrote called uh, Echoes. It's a song about the Prophet. And in the very last verse is a, a translation of uh, Sayyidina Hassan ibn Thabit's line wa ajmalu min kalam No eye has seen such beauty as thine No dame has borne such a one So fine you're created free of flaw As if by your own design May the Lord upon you send His peace, salutations and blessings that never cease, and to us a gentle breeze that makes us weep our nights away. The universe still resonates with echoes of Sallallahu Alaihi my most favorite song that I've ever written, inshallah, will be released soon. It's called Moonrise. Um, and my, uh, the, the song that I have, uh, I've released that is most loved by people, it, 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 it outsells and outstreams everything that I've ever released. But the song came out 14 years ago, 15 years ago. Uh, it's called The Sound of Tears. 
And if you Google it, uh, Google Sound of Tears and my name, Nader Khan, and you'll find, you'll find it on my, on my YouTube page. So youtube.com forward slash Nader Khan official one word. And you'll find it there, inshallah. Oh, one who hears the sound of tears as they quench the thirst of the earth that I pray on. My Lord, forgive me, I have failed the covenant that I have taken on. O oh, one who sees my arrogant knees as they kiss the ground in the hopes of redemption. My Lord, forgive me, I have failed the covenant that I had taken on. In this one song, you find Mora Jalaluddin Rumi connecting with uh, Iqbal, connecting with uh, my, one of my teachers, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, connecting with a knot by Mawlana Wahid Zafar Qasmi from Pakistan, connecting with some Western music. So you have a, a lot of... And, you know, if you don't know, like the reason I'm able to say this is because I know what went into it. But there's a lot of worlds that come together in these songs. Because there's uh, the, the Muslim population in Toronto is so diverse, the Islamic centers are very diverse as well. You find, you know, um, and this is not, you know, uh, this is not people being racist or anything. You find like a Bosnian masjid or a Pakistani masjid or an Arab masjid. That's because people want to connect with something that they're familiar with. Everybody goes into all masajid, but there are masajid that cater to a specific sort of, you know, congregation. There are masajid that are like, uh, you know, are specifically for, you know, they have their Juma khutbahs in Turkish. You know, the masajid where they have Juma khutbahs in Bosnian. And their masajid where their, you know, Juma khutbah is in uh, Urdu and some in Arabic and some in, you know, English. So you find uh, many, many different kinds of masajid in Toronto. And, um, you know, some of the brothers, there's one person I know in Ramadan, he goes masjid hopping. So in 30 days, he goes to a different masjid for every 30 days for you know, a different culture. And you can do that. You can do something like that. In Toronto. It's a really beautiful experience. And there's many gatherings of, uh, of dhikr and uh, qasaid and anashid. Um, and you know, in one week, you can cover so many different parts of the world. You can cover Moroccan on one day, Turkey on another day, and you know, Syria on a different day, and like India and Pakistan on a different day. It's it's a, it's a. There's a lot you can do. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Ya Rasul Allah. Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Ya Rasul Allah. Ne Amade Rasul, Allahi Allah, Bibi Amna Kepul, Allahi Allah, Hakla, Ilaha, Illahu, La, Ilaha, Illah, Cherae Mustafa, Jabudi Kaya Gaya, Jugae Tare or Chand Sharma Gaya. हर तरफ नूर की रोशनी छा गई मुस्तफा क्या मिले जिंदगी मिल गई ए हलीमा तेरी गोद में आ गए दोनों आलम के रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह दोनों आलम के रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह जश्न आमद रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह हक ला इलाहा इल्लाह ला इलाहा इल्लाह हक ला इलाहा इल्लाह ला इलाहा इल्लाह अल्लाहुम्मा सल्ली व सल्लिम this is something that we do in many of the Mawalid gatherings in Toronto because we want to feel, make everybody feel welcome. So we travel from Turkey to Punjab to Arabic to uh, you know, Urdu to... If I had more time, I would stick some English in there too. Barakallah <laughs> you.